uh, a trickle charging a car battery through the cigarette lighter is surprisingly doable and uh, a lifesaver if your bonnet refuses to cooperate. It's like the car giving you a secret handshake when you aren't feeling up for a wrestling match with the hood. Um, first things first, make sure your vehicle's cigarette lighter is hot, even when the ignition is off. Um, some cars are designed this way, uh, ingenious, while others keep it inactive when the car is off. Um, uh, it's essential for the trickle charger to work its magic. Uh, grab a trickle charger that's uh, compatible with the cigarette lighter socket. Um, some chargers come with adapters specifically for this, which take away some of the guesswork. Um, pro tip, uh, to check the user manual or product details to ensure compatibility, compatibility, uh, uh, woes are real. Uh, once compatibility is checked off the list, you plug the charger into the cigarette lighter socket. It's much like plugging in your phone to charge, but instead you're breathing life back into your car. Uh, one crucial step is ensuring the trickle charger is set to a low amp setting. Uh, trickle charging is all about patience, like slow cooking a good stew um, until the flavors meld. Uh, set it anywhere between one to two amps to avoid damaging the battery. Um, connect the uh, charger to a stable power source, um, typically through an extension cord. Um, make sure it's heavy duty because uh, a flimsy cord won't cut it when we're reviving a lifeless car battery. Uh, think of it as needing the right tool for the job. Um, now, some chargers have lights or indicators. Green means good, red means bad. Um, uh, these are your lifelines in understanding if the charge is happening or if something's awry. Uh, also calculate the charging time. Um, at low amps, you might be looking at 24 hours or more. Um, a snare drum roll in the world of battery revival. Um, uh, so when you're talking about roadside now, uh, that's super short way. Um, you can very follow phage without comparing your phage. Uh, pro tip, check the weather forecast. Um, seriously, um, charging in wet conditions isn't advisable unless you're looking for a shocking experience, uh, quite literally. Uh, keep the cord and charger dry and um, umbrella won't suffice here. Uh, for best practice, periodically check the charger and connections. Just a, a quick peek to ensure everything is behaving as expected. Uh, um, think of it as checking on a simmering pot of soup. Um, once you've given it enough time, unplug the charger from the wall. Then the cigarette lighter. Uh, it's unplugging in reverse to ensure no stray sparks or complications. Uh, ideally, the car should start if all went well, like a a plot twist turning in your favor. Um, uh, if not, it might be time to consult uh, the mechanic or someone who knows their way around circuits. Uh, a final tip, keep a multimeter handy for future battery tests. Uh, it's great to know if the battery holds a charge uh, without testing your luck each time. Uh, considering all this, you might just find this process satisfying enough to save in your mental how-to guidebook a battery saving adventure without ever seeing the actual battery 